All right, here's a few examples of finding inverses of sine, cosine, and tangent. So the first thing we want to do is have our circle out. So pull out the handout that has your circle, and you might have also noticed, noticed it's in the front inside cover of your textbook. There's a handy one there. All right, so let's do an example. So we want to find the arc sine, remember arc means inverse, of square root of 2 over 2. And so what this means is, in words, this says what is the arc whose sine is square root of 2 over 2. You can put that equals x like that. Okay. You could have it without, uh, you can just have it that says like that, find the value of or you could have it look like an equation and you find the value of, you call that x. So this is what this says in words. What is the arc, that's your x, what is the arc whose sine is square root of 2 over 2? Um, to rewrite that in, in function notation, that would be the sine of the arc, which we don't know, but we do know it's square root of 2 over 2. So this one up here is the inverse, this one is the function. So to do this problem, you first say sine. Alright, so that's going to be quadrant 1, quadrant 4. And again, I'm going to use that term quadrant 4 loosely because you have to get to it in the negative direction. Um, but you're going to look at your circle, and where's the sine square root of 2? Well, that's at pi over 4. Let's do another example, something similar. Arc sine of negative square root of 2 over 2. Where is the arc whose sine is negative square root of 2 over 2? Well, that's right down here. But remember, we have to get to it in the negative direction. So that's negative pi over 4. Let's do another example. I think we can squeeze another one in down here. Um, so we want the inverse sine, those being the same thing, of negative one half. And we look at our circle, and we want the arc whose sine is negative one half. That's down here in quadrant four, but you got to get to it in the negative direction. So that's going to be negative pi over 6. So the question always comes up, hey, what if I put down um, 11 pi over 6, right? I mean, that's the same thing. No, it's not the same thing because you've got to it this way. So this is not a correct answer. It's only negative pi over 6 with our restricted domains. All right, let's do another example. I think I can squeeze one in here. Example. Tangent inverse of 1. This says where is the tangent 1? Well, the tangent is going to be 1 wherever the sine equals the cosine. Because sine divided by cosine, I'm sorry, anything divided by itself is 1. So wherever the sine is equal to the cosine, well, that's going to be at pi over 4. And then likewise, if I said inverse tangent of negative 1, well, where's that going to be? Well, that's going to be at negative pi over 4, because you got to get to it in the negative direction. All right, so there's a few examples of using your unit circle to find inverses.